I'm Jessica. And I'm Carson. What do you know about marine ecosystems? Well, I know that marine ecosystems are a part of the largest aquatic system on the planet, covering over 70% of the Earth's surface. The habitats that make up this vast system range from, from the ever-working nearshore regions to the still barren ocean floor. Some examples of important marine ecosystems are oceans, estuaries, and salt marshes, coral reefs and other tropical communities, coastal areas like lagoons, kelp and seagrass beds. Marine ecosystems are home to a, a host of different species ranging from tiny planktonic organisms that, com that comprise the base of marine food web like phytoplankton and zooplankton to the, mer and to the large marine animals like whales, manatees, and seals. In addition to that, many fish species reside in marine ecosystems including flounder, scup, sea bass, monkfish, squid, mackerel, butterfish, and smiley dogfish. Birds are also plentiful including shorebirds, gulls, wading birds, and terns. Some marine animals are also endangered including whales, turtles, etc. In summary, many animal species rely on marine ecosystems for both food and shelter from predators. Marine ecosystems contain several unique qualities that set them apart from other aquatic ecosystems. The key factor being the presence of salt. The, in general, 85% of the dissolved subs substances are sodium and chlorine in seawater. On average, seawater has a salinity of 35 parts per thousand grams of water. These dissolved compounds give seawater its distinctive salty taste. And they affect species composition of particular marine habitats to prevent oceans from freezing during the winter. Daily changes in factors such as weather, currents, and seasons, as well as variations in climate and location, will cause, sal will cause salinity levels to vary among different marine ecosystems. In areas such as estuaries, tidal marshes, and mangrove for forests, tidal and freshwater influences from river and streams make it necessary for marine organisms to adapt to a, ride, a wide range of salinity levels. These organisms, such as mussels, clams, and barnacles, are called salt-tolerant organisms. Other organisms, in particular finfish, are unable to tolerate such changes in salinity. These, organis uh, these organisms are considered to be salt intolerant. These species require more constant levels of salinity, forcing them to either migrate to new areas when fluctuation in salinity levels occur, or to seek out in, in areas where salinity level is minimal. Like other aquatic systems, ecosystems, marine ecosystems require nutrients and light to provide food and energy. energy. However, both nutrients and light are limiting factors in marine ecosystem productivity. Like many other aquatic plants, photosynthetic marine organisms rely upon sunlight and chlorophyll to absorb visible light from the sun as well as nitrogen, phosphorus, and silicone to generate food and promote growth and reproduction. However, in the amount of light penetrating the Earth's surface tends to decrease with increasing water depth. Therefore, photosynthesis, photosynthesis can only take place within a small band near the surface of the water called the photonic zone. Photic zone. In addition, nutrient availability often varies significantly from place to place. For example, the open ocean nutrient levels are often poor, uh, causing primary pro uh, production to be very low. In contrast, nearshore waters such as estuaries and marshes are often rich in nutrients, allowing primary production to be very high. In some ins instances, nearshore ecosystems have an access have an excess of nutrients due to runoff and other terrestrial sources. Excess nutrients can cause an overstimulation of primary production, depleting oxygen levels and causing eutrophic conditions to occur in coastal habitats. Marine ecosystems are very important to the overall health of both marine and terrestrial environments. According to the World Resource Center, coastal habitats alone account for approximately 
one-third of all marine biology productivity, and the estuarine ecosystems are among the most pro productive regions on the planet. In addition, other marine ecosystems, such as coral reefs, provide food and shelter to the highest level of marine diversity in the world. The diversity and productivity of marine ecosystems are also important to human survival and well-being. These habitats provide us with a rich source of food and income and support species that serve as animal feed, fertilizers for crops, additives, and foods such as ice cream and cosmetics like creams and lotions. Areas such as mangroves, reefs, and seagrass beds also provide protection to coastlines by reducing wave action and helping to prevent erosion, while areas such as salt marshes and estuaries have acted in sediments as sediment sinks, filtering runoff from the land. Despite the importance of marine ecosystems, increased acti human activities such as overfishing, coastal development, pollution, and the end introduction of exotic species have caused significant damage and pose a serious threat to marine biology.